Well, hello, folks. This is Bill with Bill Reddick Outdoors. And my grandson, Lincoln, and my granddaughter, Andy, spent the night with me wanting to go on a squirrel hunt this morning. One of them couldn't get up. She stayed in the bed. But this one here managed to get up. And we're going to get my brother, Mark, and we're going to head to the woods and see if old Sambo can't treat us a couple of squirrels. He always goes prepared. That's his snacks for this morning. We're going to run pick up Uncle Mark. We're fixing to head to the woods and get after some of them squirrels. And just look at here at Lincoln's hunting pants. Got big old holes in the knees and I... Boy, how many times have you been in the woods and know you got to walk through briars and stuff? 22. 22? Did you ever get your knees eat up with briars? You think it might happen again today? Yeah, uh, we'll see. Game Sambo. And after we knocked this squirrel out, my dog trainer Lincoln decided he would make a little drag and hang it up in a little tree and play with our puppy Derby just a little bit. Get him, Derby! <laughs> I sure wish that truck wasn't so far away. I can take care of that, Papa. You right here. All right, Sambo. One more. Let's see if we can do it. Well, while we was waiting on Sambo to tree us another squirrel, Lincoln found him a vine to make a swing and I think he misjudged the length of the vine. Maybe you're too heavy. Probably. Look at him, what Lincoln's got. A handful of baby frogs. Well, old Sambo got her one more and we hung him up there. Let old Derby get a little excited over him. Talk to him, Derby! And just remember, folks, whether you're at work or play, we hope you have a nice day. This is Bill Reddick, Outdoors. See y'all!